Hi everyone, welcome to Food Nature Trails. This video is all about turning a basic omelette recipe into a different meal experience. I love how the combination of ingredients I've used in this recipe turned out. It's all about getting the ingredients to taste its best. Let's start with peeling some potatoes. I use about one medium sized potato per omelette. Chop these up into thin round slices. You want to shallow fry these later, so ensure that these are thinly sliced. Add some salt to the potatoes. This stops them from oxidizing. I prefer this method over adding the potatoes to a pot of salted water. You want to heat up your frying pan and toss them immediately and start shallow frying. Salt prevents the potatoes from sticking to the pan and sticking to each other. Allow the potatoes to sit there for about a minute and a half at least before you start to toss them over. Dry salting your potatoes helps you to work more easily with them while you're cooking. Now if you have any slices that are not as thin as the rest, you can just allow them to sit for a bit longer and cook well. So I use the same shallow frying method for my spinach leaves. You just wash them. Pat them dry with a paper towel and shallow fry them just like these potatoes. Oh and don't forget to salt them as well.
these out once done. And you can use the remainder oil to cook up your omelette later on. I like using spring onion in this recipe over onion. The spring onion has a more mild and subtle flavor and it makes my recipe more colorful. Besides, it's also a rich source of vitamin A. These aside to add on later to your eggs. Crack some eggs up into your whisking bowl. I've used three eggs for this recipe. If you get in some eggshells in the bowl, just use a larger eggshell to get it out of your bowl. Add some salt, some coarsely ground pepper. spring onion give these a, a good whisk I like using coarsely ground pepper because I love to bite into bits of pepper here and there in my egg if you don't like that, then you can use finely ground pepper instead. Pour in your egg mix. Add in the fried potatoes. Cover your pan and allow this to cook for about a minute. Covering the pan helps to get your omelette fluffier. Add in a bit of pepper if you like, just for that little extra kick. You don't want to try and flip this too soon. Once you feel that the sides are almost done, get ready to flip it. A 
And that was one neat flip. Cover this and let it cook a bit more. Fold your omelette into half. And I've cooked this over a medium heat. You don't want your omelette to get burnt. I'm going to add in some cheese. I would have loved to add in a bit more pepper on top of the cheese but I missed that if you'd like you can add it add the fried spinach leaves on top of the cheese Cover your pan and allow the cheese to melt a bit. And yay, you're almost ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, do let me know in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye bye.